everybody, this is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions and today I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial on how to make an image or a texture that is grainy or has a lot of noise in Photoshop. Now we see this effect being used in a lot of places and some of which are held here on YouTube. As you can see, Soldier Knows Best, his home page or his channel page, the background at the top, you can tell that there's this noisy or grainy texture going on made by Peter Yan of course. Now the same effect is being used in a lot of websites, a lot of design websites as well. And overall gives the viewer a new look for what the website or the channel or whatever they're selling does. And it is a pretty cool effect. So I'm going to show you how to make this exact same thing in Photoshop. Now let's switch over to Photoshop and we're going to make a new document. I'm going to make it 8 by 10 inches and the resolution should be 72 because we are on a computer and we're not printing this out. And hit OK. That's my new composition full screen that and this is my 8x10 canvas. Now what you're gonna do is start off with a color, your background primary color. Now let's let's go ahead and choose a nice let's go ahead and choose a nice grayish color right here. Something like that. Now that's something you see in a lot of places. So I'm gonna fill that right there with gray. Now you're gonna make a layer. Let's name this layer background. Go ahead, and, go ahead and create a new layer. This is going to be your noise layer. Let me name that noise layer. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill this with white. I'm going to go back here and fill it with white like that. After that, you're going to go up to the top, go to filter, go to noise, and you're going to select add noise. Now this is where your discretion comes in. You can select how much noise you want to have, and that is why there's a percentage beside the amount. And you can select go all the way up to 400, which is a bit actually that is a lot or you can uh, keep it between uh, 25 30 or even 15 things like that I'm gonna stick with 25 for now I'm gonna hit enter now if you zoom in really close to this you can see there's a lot of colors going on and there's like blue yellow purple green you don't you don't want all those what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit command shift U on the keyboard which will desaturate this entire layer meaning it will bring down all the saturation so all you see is black and white and your next step is to hit command I on the keyboard just like that. This is going to invert all of the colors on that layer. And of course you can desaturate and invert the layer by going to well one image adjustments, human saturation, and then bring the slider all the way down to minus 100. Or you can go to image adjustments and invert. Once you're done that, you're going to go up to your final step and that is changing the blending mode to linear dodge add and there you have it you are almost finished with your noise slash grain texture now you can stop here if you want but you can also give it a more realistic look by doing things like turning down the opacity to about say 50 percent right about there or you can burn the edges of the layer or something like this make sure you have your background layer selected you're going to go up to your burn tool grab a nice three or four hundred size brush and just go around freehanding and burn those edges. Now you can see that gives a really, really nice look and effect if you're working on a web page, for example. And finally, you can add your text to whatever you'd like. I'm gonna type in Macboy Productions. Real quick, hit enter, go over here, center that a bit, and there you have it. That is not a bad title, but with practice, you can do all of this in under 90 seconds. And guys, this is just three layers. This is nothing yet. You can work a lot with this. And as you can tell, this is not too bad. All right, boys and girls, thanks a lot for watching. This is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions. And once again, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to these videos and channel. And I will see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.